and you're already in a distributed learning space. Uh, you're kind of already doing that work. And then we talked about social media. So like, uh, and, and the ability to connect and learn. So yes. like, do you remember some of the takeaways you had from that? Because I remember like kind of, I even like, even though it was 10 years ago, uh, I remember first, uh, going to that, I'm like, you know, um, this will be just kind of the easiest group ever, uh, because they're already doing tons of online stuff. And I remember there was like some pushback to it. Right. And I was kind of, I'm like, you're, you're literally teaching with technology all day. Right. And it was kind of like, uh, again, a learning experience for me, even though I was the one delivering information. So like, is there anything that stuck out to you? And I, I was blessed to be with Alec who, you know, kind of mentored me and and lots of the stuff that I do today. And uh, if I don't mention that, he gets mad at me. Um, is there something that sticks out from that time with, uh, from that, from that conference? Cause I know you really started kind of jumping in at that time. Um, so that was my, actually my first DL conference that I'd been to. And so the whole school, all of us teachers, we went to the conference and we were DL teachers working with packages and working with students at a distance. And that was fine, but it was more the connectedness of educators that was the new part for myself as i didn't know anything about twitter and you know google has you know earlier with google you know docs and things like that and i got a gmail and back in 2007 because well this thing might be important someday right and and it's incredible how important it is um but what stuck out for me at that is is when you were talking about the ability for teachers for people to reach out to other people Mm-hmm. that quick like through the social media if i have a question just being able to ask that question right asking a question in social media without being there for very long or having a presence there doesn't give credibility to that question right like it's about relationship right it, it is about very much about relationship and today i can easily ask a question on twitter that would have 10 years ago been blown by because you know well who's this guy that's asking this silly question right um but that was one thing that really stuck out to me and you modeled that and i've watched you over the past 10 years continue to model that just in the way you interact with people in social media and primarily it's twitter right during your keynote i signed up for twitter right that day like on my iphone 3 I signed up for a Twitter account in the ballroom and like I didn't really understand what that platform was about for like four or five years until I became a helping teacher and then saw the value of it a whole lot more. And today, Twitter is my jam. Like that's where I spend my time. I have friends that I have never met face to face um, that I could go to a conference and we could sit down and have coffee because we've taken time to build those relationships. But then when I have a question, I'm like, hey, what's anybody think about this? And I get responses like lickety split, right? And it's about community. And Twitter is, edu Twitter is about community, right? So anybody that's listening going, well, Twitter's all about, you know, politicians and sports stars. It's not. It's it's a, a lot of things for a lot of different people. And finding your, your PLN, your professional learning network on Twitter is so significant. It's made a big difference for me. 